That, that's for you, David. They got my back. They all do. They got my back. Yeah, they do. All right. Here, give me that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop. Stop. All right. All right. Everybody, breath, breath, breath. Not that kind of breath. Okay. It, it is your birthday month. I, I, I consider the month leading up to your birthday, starting from January 22nd, your birthday month. So if you want to play the bubble sound effect, you can play your bubble sound effect. <gasps> it's like I'm blowing in my milk. Mouth on the udder. You want to hear me blow bubbles in my milk? Sure. She likes it. Is it pain or is it porno? <laughs> <That's> gross. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play a little clip here. We're going to be spending the night, uh, Saturday night, hopefully. Together. Hopefully one of the rooms are available at the Plaza Resort Spa and Hotel in one of the haunted rooms. I've never gone to a spa before on purpose. I don't think there's really a spa there, Um, but listen to this news clip. Can you see the monitor, big guy? Big guy? Can you see it? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm smaller than you, but yeah, I can see the monitor. Well, you're my big guy. Oh, okay. You're my big guy. Wesh. Historic Hotel at A1A and Seabreeze in Daytona Beach has seen a church. lot of comings and goings, including spring break action in the 1990s. We know kids can act ghoulish, but it's the current gas that have some employees spooked. They believe the hotel is haunted, and as West 2's Claire Metz reports, on the eve of Halloween, they invited us over to show us uh, why. Uh, 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 Obviously, this is a, uh, you know, a few promotion. months old. No, well, that is kind of like a commercial. I was going to get to that. Uh, the Plaza Resort Spawn Hotel, they've been around for a long time. I think they used to be a Holiday Inn at one time. Um, but it's, it's a hotel holiday. <laughs> they've had ups and downs. And what I see a lot, being the most per, uh, successful paranormal investigator of all times, your privilege to be listening to me, um, is I see a lot of these businesses where they go on hard times, they claim a haunting, and then become a haunted hotspot. Um, I'm not saying that's what's going on here, but... but if you sell it and your rooms are comfortable, I don't care if it's haunted or not. I like that attitude. Let's listen. The Plaza Resort and Spa is well over a century old. Been in and around this property in one incarnation or another. Well, now some employees think that former guests have either returned or perhaps never left. It wasn't dust, it wasn't a flashlight, there was nobody on property causing stuff to happen to mess with other employees. Hotel security chief Chris Lankowitz and staff were watching security monitors several weeks back when they saw something odd moving through a downstairs bar. Like An apparition moving about, changing right sizes, and when a guard came down to check, others say the ghostly presence seemed to hide. All right, let me pause it there. They're showing video, and I'll, I'll post this link uh, in the chat room here in just a moment. So when we take our uh, next break, you can actually watch this yourself. Um, but what this video is right here, it's a surveillance video of the bar. It shows like a white mist go over the bar into the back, and you're going to see it go up like this. And, and they say form a human shape over here. Th- this is not a ghost. This is a classic. It's a gnat or some kind of really small bug, which you can't see from standing down by the bar. It is on the very front of the lens, but it's so close, light goes all the way around it. So you can still see the picture. I don't know if, and and Damon, you're more scientific than I am. You're the tech guy. Um, Light, the way we see, we see light bouncing off stuff, and it goes in our eyeballs, right? Yes. Now, light is is a physical thing. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's there. Particles. And, Particles. And waves. Mostly waves. When I'm looking at the sign of Deep Throat who died last year yeah. in front of me, yeah, there's actually something particle physical <clears throat> bouncing off of that thing going into my eyeballs. and Yeah, waves. It, light, light waves. And, and, and that's making the picture in my brain somehow. Yeah. Now, Your if, rods and cones, dude. Your rods and cones. Now, if there was a bug, if there was a bug... Like really close to my eyeball, like those light waves would go around that little itty bitty bitty bug because I'm focused way way over there, right? Look at him. Mm-hmm. Put your fingertip in front of your eye. Uh huh. I can't you, see it. Yeah. You Boom. Can, you can still see that. You can still see your fingertip, but it's like way out of focus. You see blurriness. And it that's get, what you see. You see through it because you, the camera or your eye sees also around it, 
Boom. And it puts those together. So it- boom, boom, shakalaka, boom, boom. <laughs> boom. Or that boom. one too. Shakalaka. Boom. Boom. <laughs> All right, let's. That's what's happening here. But you know what? Let me keep playing it. Wait, the bar yeah. looks like they're stocked, so let's check it out. I know. That's what I'm saying. But and, 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 I'll be 41, and I bet they card me if I shave. <laughs> I, yeah, they probably will. But keep listening because at the end of this is the second part: the the rooms, the haunted rooms. The guy upstairs was telling him, "Go behind the bar. It's behind the bar. God. Go behind." So he started to go behind the bar. And he said, no way. And he got out of here. Though he couldn't see it, the There's guard bugs. felt something. And later on security video, oh, yeah, the apparition bug. almost takes on the shape of a person and runs away. Cold spells, giggling, keys dangling. Yeah. In Staff it. says there have been strange sightings and sounds from all corners of the hotel. Hallways, ballrooms, even hotel rooms like 1111, where a guest fell to his death from a balcony several years back. Pause. All right. That was at a um, a Monsters event. Uh, they were doing a Miss Monsters there, and and I know... Um, I'm going to be Miss Pasta. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, Actually, one of our friends, Derek, um, he... Uh, Double it, Derek? Double Derek. I don't know. Derek... Derek it doesn't matter. Um, but uh, it was his r- real good friend. I think they were rooming together, and, and the guy just... I mean, a lot of people try to say he was drunk or something, but I think I, he just went to uh, jump up on the balcony and sit, and he just misjudged the weight or what balance. And <laughs> Darwin Awards. Oh, don't say. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. But anyway, that's who they're talking about here. So uh, let's keep going. But they say this specter proves there's a bump in the night and then some. You know, I've had doors. If you'll notice, it's always on the lens as the camera pans. Exactly. You know, the camera, it never goes out of screen. It's on the lens. Yes. It's pulling on a door and the door's not locked. And walk in and there's nobody in there. Because of the recent activity in the bar, suspicious goings on in some of the hotel rooms, a paranormal investigator will be here early next month. And that should be a spirited adventure. (laughs) Because she's going to stay (laughs) in one of these supposedly haunted rooms. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Matz, West 2 News. Look, everybody is going to stay in one of the haunted rooms if you just don't tell them. Exactly. Well, they they just said 11-11. So... Every hotel room I stay in is freaking haunted with a loud air conditioner, a loud refrigerator <laughs> compressor, a super bright light under the door, a super bright light around the curtains, a super bright light coming from the microwave and the fire smoke detector. <laughs> how do you, how do you feel really? Seriously, no. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, uh, what, what, slow, free, quote unquote, high speed, unquote, internet. Yeah, I, I understand your problems. Let's let's take a real quick break here. <laughs> When we get back, we're going to call the Plaza Resort Hotel, see if we can get 11-11. It looked like it had two beds in that room, so me, you, and Psychic Steve can play, stay in there, no problem. I get the bunker, Steve. Uh, I wouldn't think of anything else. Hang in there. If you have any uh, questions or paranormal comments, or if you want to talk to Psychic Steve, maybe we can get back in here. 646-716-5815. I'll tell you if he's gay or not. Ask him if he's gay. That would be I'm great. I'm not going to ask him. I'll just tell you. I think you should ask him. We'll be back. Spooking his radio. Where's the Thanks music? Thanks for the uh, testicle massage. I think he's gay.